Is the Steel Series Arctis Nova Pro Wireless still worth the money in 2024? Let's find out. Now, if you're watching this video, it means that like me, you look up the Steel Series Arctis Nova Pro Wireless every two to three hours online, wondering if it will ever be yours. Honestly, I've been going to Amazon every day for weeks just to look at this thing, like the guitar from Wayne's World. It will be mine. Oh yes. Just praying that it will go on sale. Well, that time finally came and last night I noticed that it was 10% off. That's right, only 300 pounds, which is still a staggering amount of money for a gaming headset. In fact, that's even more than my XM4s and they're basically perfect. Well, I had some money in my Amazon account and I just made some sales on eBay. So I took the punt and I ordered it literally in the middle of the night paying extra to have it delivered the next day because I couldn't be without this thing any longer. So I have two questions here. Firstly, is the Nova Pro Wireless worth the £300 price tag for a gaming headset in 2024? But secondly, I'm actually wondering if this thing can go a step further and become my main headset overall replacing my XM4s that I use for my video editing and listening to music day to day. So let's get this thing open. Well, the box is gigantic, which definitely fills you with confidence. Some cool cards inside here and some other bits. The game deck looks really cool and has a nice weight to it. Ports on the back look really simple. Wow, look at that. That's really shiny and premium looking. Has a great weight to it and the cushions look really comfortable. The magnetic sides pop off so that you can replace the battery easily and the second one charges in the game deck whilst you play. You can just connect a USB-C to the headset to charge that way but this means you won't get caught short on long gaming sessions. Okay, so first of all, how does it look and feel? Well, it looks incredible, as you would expect. Even the lower priced Steel Series headsets look great, so I'm not surprised, but this thing really does look amazing. And it's about as comfortable as I could possibly hope for. Long gaming sessions won't be a problem at all. And everything feels super premium, from the ear cushions, to the microphone, to the removable batteries. When you've spent this kind of money on something, you really do want that wow factor when you first use it, and this delivers on every level. And as for the sound, well, I'm blown away. When I fired it up for a game of Warzone, I felt like I was in the game and it nearly blew my ears off. I haven't gone anywhere near maximum volume either, which is such a jump coming from the wired headset I was using that plugged into my controller, considering how quiet those are. The built-in equalizer and different presets offer even more ways to push the sound as well, depending on what kind of game you're playing. No question, 10 out of 10 for sound. In addition to this, the quality of the microphone is more than enough for your game chat. And it could even be used as a live streaming mic in OBS after you've tweaked a few settings. Now, one feature that I wasn't too fussed about, which has ended up being one of my favorites, is the ability to connect to a second device via Bluetooth while simultaneously connected to the Xbox. To be able to listen to music or videos on my MacBook or connect to my phone whilst I'm listening to the Xbox audio is really fantastic. And it's especially perfect if you're doing any kind of grinding or playing a game that doesn't require too much attention to the audio. You can control the audio levels of both simultaneously as well to achieve the levels that you want, and it's really easy to set up. On the left side of the headset is the USB connection and on the right side is the Bluetooth and switching between sources is instant. I haven't tried this out yet but I can add a second USB connection to my computer so that I can switch between that and the Xbox instantly whilst also still being able to connect to a third source via Bluetooth. I know that other headsets do have this feature too but I just wanted to mention how great it is and how much I've used it on the Steel Series so far. The game deck is one of the things that really drew me to this headset. Personally, I favor aesthetics over nearly anything, and this looks so good on my desk, sitting especially nicely next to the HD60X. And the control it gives you over your headset is amazing and really easy to use. Controlling how much game audio I hear compared to chat audio with the wheel is such a game changer as well. So it's safe to say that as a gaming headset, this thing is about as good as you could hope for in terms of sound quality, build quality and usability. But there is that huge price tag. 
So I wanted to know whether this could be justified by having the Arctis Nova Pro replace my Sony XM4s for everyday use. Now this isn't something that most gaming headsets could ever hope to pull off, just because of how they look and because of their microphone, but the Steel Series can easily pass for high-end headphones and the microphone is fully retractable. At the moment I use my XM4s for video editing, listening to music or podcasts and going to the gym, so I put the Arctis through its paces on all three. For video editing and general work on my MacBook, they hold their own easily. The XM4 still have the edge in quality by default, but using the Game DAC to adjust the equalizer shortens that gap, and they are more than good enough to do all of my editing work. However, for day-to-day -day use with your phone, out walking, listening to music or podcasts, they do fall a little bit short and can't compete with the XM4s. This is mainly down to not having the capabilities of the game deck whilst you're on the move, as the bass can be quite lacking. I was able to improve the sound quite a lot in Spotify using their own settings, but the XM4s are clearly better. A mobile app that had the capabilities of the game deck with an equalizer and the presets that you can find there would solve this problem, but I can't find one anywhere if it does exist. So the Nova Pros are more than good enough for everyday use and they sound great, just not good enough to replace my XM4s. When it comes to using them in the gym, I wasn't really a fan. Generally speaking, they work fine, but because of the adjustable band that sits on top of your head, they don't sit quite as tightly as normal headphones would. And that means that if you're lying down and lifting weights or doing something with a lot of movement, they tend to slip off or fall off entirely. I also think that the band, which is of course great for comfort whilst gaming, doesn't look as good as my XM4s do in the gym. This is purely aesthetic, but that matters to me. Overall, the XM4s are a clear winner here, so I won't be switching over anytime soon. But to be honest, I think that wired earphones are the king here anyway, and that's what I use most of the time. So overall, do I think that the Arctis Nova Pro Wireless is worth the money in 2024? Well, I'll leave that up to Wayne. Do you accept? Cash? Yes, it's absolutely worth it. This headset is incredible. It's been a joy to use over the last couple of weeks, and there are plenty of features that I haven't even had time to explore yet, such as the noise cancelling and the SteelSeries software for the Mac. So I'm excited to keep using it, and although it's very expensive, I think that it could last you a long time and could easily become your one pair of headphones for everything. I won't be getting rid of my XM4s just yet when it comes to video editing, but if I had anything less than those, then I'd be happy to switch over to the Nova Pro Wireless for that too. They really are that good. You can find links to everything in the description below, and I'd love to know what you think of the headset. And if you're on the fence about buying it, then leave me any questions in the comments below that you have and I'll answer as best I can. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a like and consider subscribing to help support the channel. Cheers.